Hi, Abe. How you doing? Pretty good. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. Can I just take a quick look? Sure. Oh, yeah. This does look like you're feeling better. Great. Okay. Um, how about if we do an update? So okay. what was good about the past week? Well, some of the things that I've been doing and working on are, are still going well. So uh -huh. like still being in contact with the family. Um, I contacted Charlie. Um, well, w when I saw Charlie, I asked him if I could have some more hours mm -hmm. and he said yes. So that made me feel good for, for a bunch of reasons. Okay. Um, I called John and he seemed happy to hear from me. So, so that was good. You know, a couple of weeks ago, you were even afraid to ask Charlie for any hours at all. You remember that? Because you made a negative prediction about it. Because of the way that my last job ended, I, I was afraid that nobody would, um, would give me any hours or uh -huh. hire me or, or want me at all. So. And then uh, Charlie did. So I guess that prediction turned out to be wrong. And then yeah. it sounds to me like, as if you did well enough that Charlie is willing to give you a few more hours. He did give me a, a few more hours, and uh -huh. so far that, that's going okay. Great. Do you feel like you've done a reasonable job working for Charlie? Oh, yeah. Um, it's, it's mostly labor, so it, doesn't, it, it isn't hard uh, mentally. It's, yeah. it's just hard physically, but... Yeah, I'm doing it. I show up on time and things are going well. So what was uh, good this week about working for Charlie? And what well, did that mean, the fact that you've done this? Well, the, 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 the fact that I can get there on time, that I can do a good job, um, I think it builds my confidence a little bit just being, being back to work because yeah. I was really worried after the last job because of the way that that ended, whether or not... It, well, Something bad might happen this time? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. sound like it has. Is that right? Yeah. No. S so not did, yet. did it feel good to be productive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like you were on time, so you were reliable. Mm -hmm. You did a good job in yeah. what you were doing. Yeah. In fact, such a good job that he's willing to give you some more hours. Yes. Yeah. Well... You know, it's summertime, construction, he's got a lot of work, and uh -huh. so, oh, you know, the fact that I, I wanted some hours, he seemed happy that I wanted them. That's great. And you reconnected with John, because you had also made uh, some negative predictions about that, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I, I talked to him, and he, he seemed happy to hear from me, mm -hmm. you know, which... What do you make of that? You know, I, I don't know. I, I guess things are okay with him, and mm -hmm. and you know, I I was worried that because I hadn't called him or been in contact with him for for a long time, I was afraid he'd just sort of written me off. Uh -huh. You know, as we talked about last week, of course, he hadn't called you either. Yeah. So it sounds like the two of you just uh, let each other slip a little bit. And, yeah, I guess and that's right. Now you're back. What would have happened if you had really bought into this automatic thoughts, he's not going to want to hear from me? I probably wouldn't have called him. No, I don't think he would have. So it's so good that you called him, right? Yeah. 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 And it, it was taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Because you, you really thought that he might not uh, take too kindly to your call. I th yeah. I mean, I... So you put yourself out there. Hmm. That's good. Is this another example of how you took control? Yep, yeah, because, because, well, like you said, I wouldn't have. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so, uh, anything else happened this week that I should know about? Mm, no, not that I can think of right now. So let's uh, mm. set our agenda. What's the goal for today's session? Um, Did you write something down about that? Yeah. 
I, since I've been writing lots of stuff down. Um, oh, so my daughter's having a barbecue, uh -huh. and her in-laws are coming and are going to be there. I see. And mm -hmm. I'm worried about what they're going to think about me because oh. of, you know, everything that's happened to me and... So is your goal to reduce your worry about seeing her in-laws? Or is it a different goal? Well, it's reducing the worry, but I don't know what to say to them. Oh, okay, so it's both. And I think, so, so we can figure out, figuring out what to say, yeah. and if we do that, then that should reduce the worry, is that right? Okay. Yeah, probably if I knew, I, I mean, I just don't even have any idea what to say oh, to I, them. I have some ideas. I think that, I think this is a pretty easy one. Okay. Um, but an important one. Uh, any other goals for this session? Um, no, well, if you think of anything, no, that's, you know, let me know. That's the main thing, I mean, Okay. yeah. Uh, can we take a look at your homework? The, um, your action, I'm sorry, your thoughts? action plan. <laughs> my action plan, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so do you want to start reading the action plan to me? If I think that I should be all better by now. Because that was your thought you had had last week, right? I should be, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, my thought was I shouldn't have been that bad in the first, first place. place. Right, that's true. I remind myself that I am somewhat better, and I That's am true. somewhat better, yeah. and, and I did that. You are. I straightened up my apartment. That, that took a, quite a while, didn't it? Yeah. And you got it done. Yeah. That, that reminds me of another thing, if we uh -huh. have, have time. Like, I was straightening up my apartment, and I... I put some stuff out in the hallway, uh -huh. and um, um, one of my neighbors was upset that I yeah. put it there instead of taking it all the way down to the dumpster. So the goal of, of this would be what? To talk to your neighbor, to feel yeah, better about the situation? No, I, I guess that, I, I can tell you about that, but I don't think we need to spend time on that. Okay. All right, so back to um, the action plan. So you um, said I've worked a couple times apartment. in construction. Uh -huh. Okay, I've, I've done that and that's gone well. I'm doing more with the kids and, and the families. Been doing that. Good. Um, I reconnected with, well, I was already connected with Charlie, but got more with him and and reconnected with John. Right. So I'm doing as well as could be expected for someone who was severely depressed in May. What do you think about that? I don't, I, I don't know what the, the expectation would be, but I think I'm doing as well as I can. Good. I don't, That's good. I'm doing all the right things. Well, I don't know. The things we talk about here, I, I, I've tried to do. Excellent. But it's, it's still going to take longer until I'm feeling mm -hmm. like normal again. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do you think it was helpful to read this or it really just didn't make much of a difference? Oh, I think it was helpful during the week. Right, right now, I don't, um, it just sort of seems like it all came and worked out the way it was supposed to. So. Excellent. I That's think great. it's okay. So what else was on your action plan? Well, talk to Charlie. I did that. Good. Keep looking for customer service jobs. Were you able to do that? Well, I did. Um, but th th that's hard mm -hmm. um, because, you know, you're filling out things online and you're not talking to somebody, and I, I don't really, you know, they ask you for what have you been doing, mm -hmm. and I don't know how to explain what I've been doing for the past two years. So is that something for our agenda? Yeah, probably. 
so we have the um, the barbecue at your daughter's in law, at your daughter, your at your daughter's, for, and you'll see her in laws, her um, yes. and then uh, filling out the job applications, uh, and what to say about not working. Yeah. And let's see, were you able to keep giving yourself credit? Yeah, I'm doing that. That's pretty, good. Pretty and good. did you do a testing your thoughts worksheet? I did. That was what I started to tell you. That was w when I was cleaning my apartment, uh -huh. and I put this, some of the stuff out in the, out in the hallway just until I had it all ready to go at the same time. And my, my neighbor complained to me, uh -huh. and you know, initially when he started complaining, I I, I thought that I, you know, was doing something wrong or uh -huh. should have done it differently or whatever. But then I, I went through this and I sort of get, came to the conclusion, no, I had a pretty good plan. Yeah. You know, I was getting the stuff from the apartment to the hallway and then it was all gonna go from the hallway out, out to the trash bin. And it was in the middle of the day. It wasn't bothering anybody out this there. Is that neighbor who's so picky? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds that way. But how great that you didn't let what he said affect you f too strongly, yeah. is that right? Well, it, initially it did, but then uh -huh. oh, I've still got there. this, and it reminded me I used this and thought, well, let me think this through. And since I, I had the form, I, I just went through it and did it. I think that's great. Worked out. That's great. So let's see, what from the homework might you want to continue doing this coming week? I'm not sure you need to keep on reading this about this thing about I should be better by now. It sounds like that's pretty much in your head. I'm doing better. I'm doing yeah. better, and I. Let's see. I you already that. asked Charlie. Talk to Charlie. Uh, we're going to talk about the job applications. The um, you're going to still keep the credit list. Yeah, I better. And I better. keep on doing some worksheets. Yeah. When you need to. Yeah, because yeah, because there's still. I still have weak moments. Good. All right, so we have the uh, barbecue and we have the job applications. Is there anything that's even more important than those two things? No. So which would you like to, do you wanna make sure we get to both of them or if there's only time for one, what, how would you like to spend the time? That's a, um, let's do the job applications because the barbecue is still a couple weeks away. away. Oh, okay. So, so if we still don't have, get to it, it'd be all if right. If we don't get to that today, that'd be all right. Yeah. But the job apps, I, I, you know, that's bothering me every day. Good. Let's talk about that then. It sounds like you were able to identify at least a couple of jobs, but then you got kind of daunted when you saw the application. Well, when it, when it asked me, you know, asked for prior employment, and and they ask you to sort of do things by date. Yeah. And then I've got this like big hole. Right. The past two years. Right. What do I put in there? You know, dropped off the end of the earth. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what to put in there. Uh, and is there anything, any other hard parts about the application, or is that really the one that's bothering you the most? Well, I, I have to explain why I left the last job, uh -huh. but I mean, I know what to say there. I don't know what they're going to think about it, but, right. but, but I know how to explain it. Right, so you don't need my help with that. No. No, so let's talk about how you could fill in the application. Can I ask you some questions about this? Sure. So if I remember right, when you first lost your job, you looked around a little while for new jobs and didn't find anything. And then weren't you helping out Charlie back then? Um, yeah, a little bit. So you had a few days of helping with construction then? Yeah. And you've had a few days recently? Yeah. So I wonder whether you could put down that you've been working in construction. I, I can. 
Do you think Charlie would give you a good reference? Yeah, I think he would, but, but I haven't done a lot of work uh -huh. for Charlie. That's the only thing. I, I think. Well, do you have to put on the application how much work you've done? Well. Well, I suppose it could come up in a job interview, but how about just on the application? I'd be afraid to say that I've been working the whole time for Charlie. Uh -huh. I mean, because I haven't, and, and Charlie will tell them that. Yeah. I, I mean, that I, so, I, I, I don't, I mean, I can tell them that, but I think I need to tell them more. Okay. I don't, maybe. Is there, is there even room on the application to explain like that? One of the things that you, one of the things that you could do is that you could just put down um, oh, two years the date for two years ago and um, the date of this year and have one year with nothing unless you think that actually you did work in that intervening year you could put that one in too so and if you put them down with commas. I think what that usually means to people is that it wasn't continuous or you would have said, you know, this year to that year. I think I could also put on there that I've done some volunteer work. Oh yeah, that's good too. So that it won't look like I just, just sat around anything. the whole time. Right. So that you're going to put down the work at the homeless shelter? The homeless shelter. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And I've done a couple like special project thing well this was before well with the church uh -huh. I don't know if I can use that or not but well I can just say I did volunteer work and use the homeless shelter as right as as well, a place it, and, and you could also say you 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 did do some work you know, at the church you think that's been in the last uh, two and a half years I kind of dropped off church around that same time Okay, so just leave it off then. How does that sound? Yeah. yeah. So I can say that I've done construction when it was available. I've done some work in the homeless shelter. Good. I, I can say that. And now, um, when you get an interview, do you think that the company that you're going to apply to has hired other people in the last couple of years? Yeah, probably. Might be an expanding company, might not be, right? But I'm just wondering whether the job interviewer knows that it's more difficult for people to get jobs when they're in their 50s mm -hmm. than when they're in their 20s and 30s and 40s. They probably know it because they're the ones not hiring us. Exactly right. And so I wonder whether in your interview you might be able to say honestly that you've been looking for a job but that it's been difficult. Yeah. So I don't think there's a place for that on the job application. No. But I thought maybe it'd be good for you to start thinking about well, that. I mean, the other thing about it is that um, my last, except for the last few months when I was there, I was working as a supervisor and then it makes it hard to go into a new place and get a, a job as a supervisor. Nobody wants to hire, they want to hire you at entry level right. positions. And so you can't just go over there. And, but if I could get a job in, in customer service, uh -huh. I mean, even if I had to start at the bottom, I think I'd, I'd be okay with that. That's good. And do you have something good in mind that you can say if the interviewer says, but you were a supervisor before and this is an entry level job, what would you say back? Well, but this is in the area where, uh, where I like to work and, and so I'm willing to take an entry level job. The problem that I had at my last job is that they moved me from customer service over to inventory and I didn't know how to do that. There was, mm -hmm. I mean, there were computers and there were spreadsheets and stuff and I, I didn't grow up with that stuff. I didn't know how to do that. Yeah. So as long as I was working at customer service, I was doing good. Yeah. It's when they moved me to inventory that I had a problem. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a great answer if an interviewer says what happened with the last job. Okay. So. 
So uh, what could get in the way of filling out the job application now? Well, I mean, just just that I would have the thought that even if I put down construction and volunteer work, that that won't be enough. But, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that that's the best plan I have right now. Mm -hmm. So I'll just I'll just put it down. It, I mean, I can't to... can't get any worse results than what I've already gotten. Yeah. Do you need to write down if I think that they won't like my lack of work history? Remind myself this is the best plan I have. Anything else on the uh, job applications? No. Yeah, Can I just ask you one more question? Yeah. What does it say about you as a person that you're willing to go into an entry level job? Well, it's just people need to work. People. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it shows I have you have a. I mean, I think that. Work is important. I mm -hmm. think that earning money is important. I th so you have a good work ethic. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't sound as if, you know, some people would feel themselves too superior to take an entry level job. It doesn't sound like you have that sense about yourself. I, I would just be happy to be working again. Yeah. So I think that does that show that you're humble? That you have mm -hmm. good values? That you, that you would put productivity over? Superiority? Well, I don't know if it means that or not, but. Okay. Sounds good. Anything else on this, or should we talk about uh, the barbecue? Talk about the barbecue. Okay. So it's in a couple of weeks? And do you have a picture in your mind of what the barbecue is going to be like? Yeah, I imagine I'm going to go there and then my, my wife and her family are sort of going to, you know, be talking and stuff. And Your, your ex-wife? No, no. No, no. Oh, your no, daughter? My daughter. Oh, your daughter sorry, and her family. That my daughter right. and her family right. are, are going to be there and, and talking and everything. And then I just sort of imagine that her in-laws are going to be sort of over on the side just mm -hmm. talking among themselves. Okay. And that's going to be awkward mm -hmm. and, and difficult to, to break into. And I'm, I'm going to walk in. My, my daughter will be happy to see me. Uh -huh. and, and, and my son-in-law, too. But um, What do you think is going to be the most difficult moment for you? I think after I say hello to my daughter and her husband and my, my grandkids, there's going to be a, a time when everybody recognizes that I've said hello to everybody, but I haven't had any done any talking with her in-laws. And right. I think that that's going to be a difficult uh -huh. moment. So have you had difficulties uh, in talking to them before? How often have, have, you, do you have, did you only see them like at the wedding and not since, or you've seen them periodically? Well, I probably saw them one or two times, but not, not regularly. It's not like we were ever friends. I mean, uh -huh. part of that was that when I was, when I was married before, we didn't really do things with oh, other people together. Right. That, so I never really saw them or really got to know them uh -huh. that much. And when you did have a little bit of time with them, what was your impression of them? They were perfectly nice people. Mm -hmm. They were okay. Um, they seemed friendly. Uh -huh. that, that was when I was working and when I felt normal. And yeah. now I haven't been for such a long time. I don't know what they're going to think about me. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you afraid they're going to think well, about you? Yeah, they're going to they're going to think that I'm just lazy, mm -hmm. irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Do you have a picture in your head of them f believing this about you? Yeah, like what? I'm sitting there. What, once we get to that moment after I've said hello to everybody, then I sort of look over at them and they look back at me and they have, you know, just this look on their face of, mm -hmm. you know, disapproval. Mm -hmm. 
And do you have any evidence? Is there something that makes you think that they'll be critical of you? Or do you have any evidence that makes you think that they won't be critical of you? Or do you really just not know? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just assume that everybody thinks that about me. Well, is that what John thought about you when you reconnected with him? <sighs> no. Is that what Charlie thought? No. Is it what your kids have thought all along? No. No. So, is it what I think of you? No, but that's your job. Well, it is my job to try to look at things realistically. Now, I don't know how to look realistically about your, the, your daughter's in-laws. Um, I don't know whether they're going to be critical or not. Um, the question is, is it worth it to you to act as if you feel confident? And is it worth it to you to go up to them? And if they ask, what have you been doing lately? You could say you've been working construction. You could say you're looking for, um, uh, you'd like to get back into customer service, so you've been applying for jobs in that. Yeah. So if you were to say that in kind of an upbeat way, what are the chances do you think that they'll be really critical of you? N not to my face anyway. Yeah. And um, after you say that, you know, if you want, you can just very quickly change the subject. Would, would you like to do a little role play on this? So do you want to sure. be you or you want me to be you? Sure. Uh, I should be me. Okay. I should be me. So, and who am I? The wife or the husband? Who's easier to talk to? That's what I'm saying. Probably the husband is easy, easier for me to talk uh -huh. to because we can talk about sports and stuff. Oh, that's good. What's, what's his name? Um, it's a funny name. It's Elias. Elias. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm Elias. And do I come up to you or do you come up to me? Well, I mean, that's the question. So I've said hello, I look over, I see them sort of looking at, I, I, they're settled, so I uh -huh. guess I have to go over okay. to you. And remember now, what I want you to do is to act as if you have confidence. Act as if you feel good about the fact that you're doing construction, that you're looking for another job. Act as if you expect them to be nice to you. So if you have that, if you have that attitude, what does your face look like? <laughs> like that, right? Yeah. That smile, right? Yeah. Kind of this open, the smile. What does your posture look like? You're feeling confident about yourself. <sighs> I guess I'd have to probably sit up straight. Mm -hmm. Stand so you're gonna, up straight. Or stand up straight. I'd stand up straight. You'd probably straight, stand up, right? I'd stand up and so, go over. And so you're coming to me. I'm Elias. So you're standing up straight. You're smiling. Yeah. You come over to me and you say, Hi, Elias. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good. It's good to see you. Yeah. I haven't seen you for a long time. Nice to see you, too. You know, I'm, I'm retired now, and uh, I'm mm. tough to tell you, I'm enjoying retirement. Mm. How, how about you? Well, I, 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 um, I'm still, still in the game a little bit. I'm, uh -huh. You know, I, I've, I've been doing a little bit of construction, and... You know, I'd like to get back into customer service if, if I could, so I've been, you know, I've been looking at jobs hmm. with that. That's good. And I, I know, you know, the, even though the economy is booming, it just seems hard for people our age to get jobs. It's hard, yeah. People don't seem to want to talk to me. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well. Okay. How about if you change the subject now? Well, that's unfortunate. What do you think about the Phillies this year? I'm so disappointed, I have to tell you. You know, after last season, I really thought they had a chance, but I don't know. Uh, they, they, you know, they're not doing too well. Well, you know, they've got some expensive players, and I, I thought they'd do better. But So are you going to any games? I haven't. Uh -huh. I, I haven't yet. I, I'd like to sometime, but 
like to wait to see <laughs> see them do better too. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I went to see a couple games early on. That's when they were were doing well, but I haven't gone for a while either. Yeah. So I I don't know. Things don't look that good for them right now. Maybe I don't know. May, maybe the Eagles have a better chance this year. Yeah, I hope so. I don't have to tell you. I'm much more of a baseball fan though than a football fan. Yeah. Okay, let's come out of role play. First of all, I thought everything you said was great. Second of all, you look pretty depressed when you were telling me all this stuff. I wonder if we could just try it once more and have you try to feel confident. Let me uh, ask you a couple questions. You know, one of the things that you read about here was that you really have made a fair amount of progress and that you are right where you should be given how depressed you were last May. So you are, you know, right on the road where you should be right now, Abe. Yeah. The second thing is, look how much more you're doing these days than you did before. And the fact that you're working construction and you got extra days, boy, that to me shows you're really willing to work hard to get over this depression. Okay. And the fact that you were able to fill out the um, testing your thoughts worksheet and that it worked and it helped you feel better, the fact that you've gotten your apartment really straightened out, all those things are really great. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me ask you another question. Does Elias know that you've been depressed? I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I don't know what he knows. I don't know what they've told him. Right. But I mean, I guess. What do you think of trying to do this one more time but with smiles? All right, I'll try it. Okay. So I think the attitude you have to have is that you're actually really glad to see Elias. You connected with him a little bit in the past. Here's an opportunity to connect with him more strongly. What would be good if you did connect with him more strongly? Well, we might do things more together as a family. And, that's, that's right. And that would be, I mean, just make us all closer. Uh -huh. Would it mean something to your daughter, do you think, if you got closer to her parents? Well, probably she can like that. I bet she would like that. Yeah. So is it worth it to really try to put yourself out there and be smiling? Okay. It's hard though, right? Yeah. All right, so you're going to get triple credit if you can do this. <laughs> okay, so here I am. I'm Elias. I'm okay. sitting here with my so wife. I go for and, and I see you. I just sort of, hey, Elias, how you doing? Pretty good. I haven't seen you for a long time. How have you been doing? Oh, pretty well. I'm retired now. Are you? Yep, putter a lot around the house and stuff. How about you? Well, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying. Um, I've been doing a little bit of construction and, um, and I'm, I'm actually trying to get back into customer service again because I really liked it when I used to do that and uh -huh. I haven't done that. So, um, you know, I've been putting in some applications and doing that. In the meantime, I've been doing a little bit of construction work and volunteering and things like that. So, oh, you know, you. that's, um, we'll see, we'll see um, how, how it all works out. But anyway, um, so uh, what do you think about the Phillies this year? I'm so disappointed. You know, I had high hopes after last season, but they're they're not really doing very well. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I th they've spent a lot of money on big buck players who aren't paying off. Is is mostly um, what it is. So I I don't I don't know. I'd like to go to a game sometime, but I don't want to spend the money on a on a on a game if they're if they're just going to be as bad as they've been doing. Yeah. I don't blame so, you. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the Eagles will be better this year. Oh, I think that's wishful thinking, Abe. <laughs> After last season? Yeah, well, well, maybe they have the quarterback thing straightened out at this point. Oh, uh, yeah, I hope so. All right, let's come out of the role play. You did great. That was such a difference between the first one and the second one. It was hard. It was and hard. You, I didn't it was really hard? feel like I did that much better, but... Oh, boy, I have to tell um, you. 
when I um, just looking at your face, your your voice was louder. I don't know if yeah. you know. Yeah, it was right. Louder. You really, you sounded as if you weren't afraid of what he was going to think. Hmm. You sounded, you know, and you were just kind of matter of fact talking about the construction and applying for new jobs. Um, you weren't okay. negative about it in any way. I thought you did a really good job. Do you have any other topics that you might talk to him with about? I mean, sport, sports. W I mean, we can always talk about the grandchildren. That's yep. always That's a good one. easy to mm -hmm. talk about, and maybe even talk about going to some of their activities together. Maybe. Oh, right. Or you might see him. See him there. Yeah. I don't. I don't yeah, know how much good. he goes to. Um, any other topics? Well, our kids, of course, right. are, are one and what they're doing and how they're uh -huh. getting along, which, which is good. You know, they're doing really good. Do they have other children, too? Um, yeah, they do. I think they, they have, uh, I think, two other daughters. So you could always ask about them. Yeah. You know what topic I find most people like to talk about is travel. Hmm. So have they been any place in the last couple of years or... Are they planning to go someplace, or what's on their bucket list? Yeah. I have trouble talking about that because I haven't gone anywhere or done anything. So um, if Elias were to say, oh, yeah, we're going to Mexico in a couple of months, uh, what could you say back to that? Where are you going to go? What uh -huh. are you going to do? No, that, that would be okay if he would say that. That's great. I mean, I, and what's on your bucket list, Abe? Where would you like to go? I, I guess the thing is that travel hasn't been the thing that's been most important to me. It's just mm -hmm. sort of, I'm happy to stay close to home and be close with my family. I don't mm -hmm. really think about going other places much. So you, if he asks you, you can say that. We've never really had the travel bug. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's All okay. right. So what did we talk about in terms of um, Elias that you'd like to remember? Well, I think probably he'll be okay. I'm, I mean, he'll, he's certainly going to be okay. Want to write some of this down? Um, Elias will, he'll, probably be happy to see me. Mm -hmm. And um, we, have com we have common interests to talk about. That's true. Sports, kids, grandchildren. could ask what he's, you know, how he's spending his time in retirement. Mm. Now, you want to say anything about your appearance? I don't how, know how, what you mean. how your face might look, what your posture might look well, like. I want to stand up straight, mm -hmm. smile. Mm -hmm. Talk loud enough. Talk with enthusiasm? I think it's easier to do when you're talking about your grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It's much easier than the Phillies. And why is it worth it to do this? What will it mean well, if mean, you do this? Well, I mean, it just ties into everything else that we've been talking about and everything I've been doing. It's going to help me to just kind of be normal and have a normal life again. Exactly. Do you want to write that down, or do you think that's really in your head now? I'll write it down. Maybe. And uh, let's go back to the job application. What do you want to write down about that? That, you know, since my last job, I 
I want to be able to say that I haven't just been sitting around doing nothing. Right. So when it says I've list been, what you're doing, what can you yeah, list? Been doing some stuff on construction. Been volunteering. And I think the way that I'll say it, I, I just want to get back to customer service because mm -hmm. I was happy doing mm -hmm. that. In the application, do they give you any space to just, you know, say why you want the job or I think talk about di yourself? Different ones are different. Usually at the end, they have a space where you can write something if you want to. So this would be a great thing to write. Get back to customer you service. You really like to do that. You really enjoyed it when you were doing it. You did it so well, you got made supervisor. But you're willing to uh, do an entry level job. I do anything just because it's just important to me to work. Yeah. That might be good for you to put in the application too then if there's a space. You know, uh, something that just occurred to me is um, that Charlie, uh, was a, no, not Charlie, sorry. Um, Joseph was your, the boss who switched you to inventory, right? Yeah. Um, but he was new in the job, as I remember, right? Who was the, uh, who was your supervisor or boss before Joseph? That was Dan. Dan. And do you think Dan would give you a good recommendation? Yeah. I think he probably would. So there may be a place on the application to say references. Maybe you want to give Dan's name and number. Might be good to um, call Dan or email him or something beforehand so he'll know to expect a call. Do you have any problem doing that? Some, but I think I can. You can, you can get yourself to do it. That's great. So we're giving you some hard things to do. I think the application won't be nearly as hard now that we figured out what you could say. Yeah. It might be pretty hard to talk to Elias. It might be pretty hard to uh, call Dan, right? Yeah. You think you have uh, the strength to be able to do this? I'll try. I think you do. I think you do. I think it was pretty impressive how you were able to turn your mood around about your picky neighbor. I think it's been pretty impressive how much time no. you've been spending with your family. Picky neighbor was easier for me to figure out, I think. Yeah. Because he 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 irritates me. So And the fact that you're working in construction, you're just doing so many good things now, Abe. Is there any last thing you want to talk about? You got your action plan and firmly in your mind? No, I think, I mean, this This is helpful. Good. This is, I mean, I think. Any problems, these do you think, the, doing this? Well, I don't know. I'll find out, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I mean, these are the kinds of things that, ev even though overall I've been doing better, these are the things that I've been stumbling on. So. Yeah. And, and I don't think we could have worked on these things, to be honest with you, back in May. No. The fact that we're even no. working on them now, I think, is really a testament to you of how, how hard you've worked to be able to get to this point even where you could even think about doing these things. Yeah. You think I'm right about that? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't have talked about these in May. Yeah. And you're going to continue to give yourself credit because that's our standing thing and continue to do a, a worksheet. And I find it useful to I'll just keep the, the rubber, rubber band, band. Oh, handy to, to just remind me to. Yep. At this point, it's gotten just sort of kind of a reminder to do all of these things. That, yeah. You that know what I think this rubber band is? I think it's a taking control rubber band. Any feedback about the session? Yeah, it was good. This yeah. was really helpful. Great. Thank you. All right. Can I take my copy of the, uh, oh. the action plan then? Yeah. All right. Uh, same time next week.
Okay. Okay. See you then. Okay.